Hello everyone, we are back on Ragnarok Travel, the Ragnarok Online server with 111, on which we are playing. And today we will try two techniques to farm sleepers on this server. Because we are still currently on episode 8, we do not have Ambrush Field yet, so we have just a Doomy Sleeper map, on which we need to teleport all the time. The first technique will consist on saving in the Inn of Alberta and then come back here to recover SP each time we have spent all USP. So first, anyway, I will summon a spirit sphere after each teleportation. In this, uh, in this first technique on which I use uh, the Inn to recover SP, I will save my SP by using Flywing to teleport and not teleportation skill because teleporting means losing SP. So after each teleportation I summon a spirit sphere um, even though I would have all my spare just to make the aggressive monster to try to eat me. That's mean if a sleeper is hidden into the vegetation or with his heel uh, hidden, he will uh, show himself and try to attack me. And as he is moving, it's uh, it's easier to see him uh, on the on the screen. So that will result in uh, more uh, more kills. So when we are shot in SP, come back to the inn and uh, boost yourself and start again to, to farm slippers. We have already gone two times in the inn. That means we have spent 10,000 zip. And we've got, uh, I think after this round we will have nine uh, grit nature each grit nature mean eight uh, something like eight green life eight grit green life and you can sell a green life with OCD OCDC merchant 525 zeni that mean if you got 10 uh, if you got 10 uh, 10 grit nature that mean uh, 80 green live 18 grid live so something like 40 uh, 40 thousand zenny so that's a lot that's a lot of zenny just uh, for the price of, of the inn. That means uh, with uh, uh, you will get uh, f 40 thousand of the knee and we, you will spend just 10 thousand uh, in the inn. With this technique you shouldn't uh, try to fight uh, demon fingers and uh, the paper because SP mean zeni and uh, the paper loot won't uh, won't make you uh, able to to pay the in if you begin if you start to to farm them you will need some you well you will need all your SP just to take down uh, the paper. So now we have finished with this first technique. We will put all our loot into uh, the storage. So in this run we got 80 uh, grit nature. This is pretty good. Now we will get uh, all our SP uh, in the inn. And we will try the other technique by using only Absorb Spirit Spurs and Teleportation Skill. With this 
teleportation skill, there is a trick you can do, which consists on pressing the key of teleportation, sit down, and then return to, uh, to teleport. If you do it properly, that means pressing the key uh, of teleportation and the key of uh, sit down uh, one just after the other, you will be able to break the animation of uh, teleport skill. So uh, you will uh, you will be able to teleport really really fast. That means to do it, you just need three keys. Uh, three keys. Uh, the first one, the key for teleportation. The second one, the key to sit down, and the third one, return. You can do it, for example, on your notepad with uh, the key 2 for teleportation, the key 3 for sit down and return uh, to validate the teleportation. When you teleport, you are automatically uh, up. You, are, you, you won't stay down uh, if you teleport away. Th that's really, uh, really useful to, to flash the SP regeneration because Anytime you will sit down, the game will tr will see if you can uh, regenerate faster your SP, and it works really well with the monk uh, skill uh, of uh, SP regeneration. With this technique, each time I able to do it. I will try to absorb spirit spare on um, on goat. That means after each teleportation, I try to see on the screen if there is uh, a sleeper and if there is a goat. So I will uh, teleport away. Uh, I will hesitate to teleport away if I do not find a, a sleeper. I will first try to see if there is a goat to recover SP. It gives me more chances to to get uh, a sleeper, at, uh, at least. Okay, it seems the first technique works really better than the second one. As we can see, we got something like 4 or 5 good nature with the second technique, but uh, just five good nature, just to save the the money for the inn. That's not really efficient. I think now I will try more the first technique with fly wings and with uh, with the inn. Thanks you for watching this video, guys. I hope it will help you uh, a bit if you decide to set up a spirit monk on Ragnarok travels. See you.